A number of people have actually asked me how I generated this word cloud in Power BI for this Facebook analysis that I done on the Irish Taoiseach and the Kenny for 2016. And this word cloud was generated using a custom visual that's available from the Power BI custom visuals webpage. The custom visuals webpage is at powerbi.com forward slash visuals. And you'll find in here, if you scroll down through, quite a lot of visuals. And in here, we have the word cloud. And once you find the word cloud, you can download it. You can also download a sample if you want, and you can download the word cloud. Now, when you download these custom visuals, I would recommend that you save them in a folder because you can reuse them over and over again. So let's have a look at this custom visual. And we see here that what we done was we had a look at the comments on the Enda Kenny's analysis page and we ran a word cloud based on the comments. In this video, what I have done is I have taken my course reviews and I've uploaded my course reviews to Power BI in a table. If we have a look at our table of data, you can see that we have our course name or student name timestamp for the rating, the rating, and then we have a comment. And some people have left comments, some people haven't left comments. Here's all the comments down here. And what I want to do is I want to be able to generate a word cloud from the comments that are available here. So as I said, it is a custom visual. So we have downloaded the custom visual from the Power BI custom visuals webpage. And then we can just import it to Power BI by saying import custom visual. And once we've located, we can open it and it's imported the visual. And we can see now we have a new visual, this little cloud that is available for us. So we have our cloud. Now we need to add our data to the cloud. And there aren't very many labels or very many categories. The first thing it looks for is a category. And then it's looking for a value. So the category is the text. And in our case, it is our comments box. So if I throw in our comments into the comments box, we can see that we have generated a word cloud straight away from all of the comments that have been left for me against my courses. Now we can see the word to, and we can see the word and, and we can see the word there. We can see the word a, of, these are known as stop words, and they're not really very important in terms of the review, so we can turn these off. So to turn them off, if we go to our format and we have stop words and turn stop words on, and under default, if we turn that off, we can now see that them stop words have actually removed. And we can see that I've got a very good courses, clear, excel, understand, Paula following information, basic learning, delivered, continue, pace. We can see all the words, spreadsheet, all the words, explanations, explained, difficult, business short. All of the words that were in the comment section of the reviews that have been left for me in my courses have all been pulled together and we've created a word cloud. So obviously the word very good, great course clear excel is actually appearing quite a lot within it's something that's consistent between all of the comments or a lot of the comments whereas the smaller words such as quiz provided otherwise apply times they don't seem to be appearing in the comments as much as the other words such as clear course very good etc now course is a word that's it's not really that important in terms of my reviews. So I can take course out. And once we take course out, we can see it no longer appears in here. And now we have very easy, clear, good, great, Excel, understand, thanks really, power, knowledge. So we can see even more words have been pulled in because we've taken out that word of course that isn't important. Other things you can do is, well, you can rotate the text on or off so you can have it straight. Or you can have it rotated, so it's basically your formatting. You can have a title, background, lock aspect, border, and so forth. 
Now, there are other things that you can do with text in Power BI. A word cloud is one thing. You can also do a sentiment analysis by connecting to Microsoft Cognitive Services. And we're going to look at that in another lesson. But what you need to know now is how to create a word cloud using Power BI custom visuals. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like this, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.